question number 11 now in question number 11 there is some printing mistake please make a correction Selim is having 40,000 credit account in the credit side and Shabana is having 10,000 on your debit side before we start any question please read the whole question carefully here capital account is also given and current account is also given so today we are going to prepare fixed capital account method next all the entries just check all the entries here we can see the trading account is already given to you as in the last uh, one of the question we directly prepare profit and loss account and even here we can see the trading account is given but in the adjustment out of one to six adjustment there is a first and second adjustment where you can see the withdrawn goods for the personal use and the goods 8000 purchase at the end of the accounting year which is not recorded means it's your adjusted uh, adjusted purchase so for this two we are going to prepare trading account now when it is already given and we are going to prepare it so it is called revised trading account which we are going to prepare because of first two adjustment then profit and loss account profit and loss appropriate account partners current account balance sheet and for the calculation i have already put all the calculation here salim and sabana there is in the question they have not given you profit and loss ratio so here i have assumed it as a one is to one that is equal proportion so remaining calculation will do when the adjustment will come so let's start with the adjustment first here we can see the first adjustment selling withdrawn goods of rupees 4000 for personal use now here goods is going out so obviously the one entry will come in the trading account and the one entry will come in your partner's current account next is okay first let's start with the first adjustment so take the uh, withdrawn goods for the personal use withdrawn for personal use is 4000 I'm keeping it inside because there is some calculation with the second adjustment as well then next is in your partner's current account date is not mentioned so we are not going to write the date but write down the additional goods have been withdrawn so we'll write down drawing and this drawing has been withdrawn by selling so just put 4000 in the column of selling next goods of rupees 8000 purchase at the end of the accounting year which is not recorded now it is unrecorded purchase we are going to record it in the trading account so just write down unrecorded purchase that is 8000 with the unrecorded purchase we are going to get minus with the goods which have been withdrawn for the personal use so the remain it is 4000 keep it like this second entry of unrecorded purchase will come in your balance sheet going to add with creditor plus unrecorded purchase that is 8000 now let's find out what is creditor have been given in your trial. Here creditor is given 24,000. So take the 24,000 and add it. Here comes 32,000. Next adjustment prepaid insurance is 400. First we'll find out insurance that is given over here 2000 just mark it insurance premium given on your debit side so come to the profit and loss account and write down insurance premium 2000 year prepaid prepaid means will do minus and if it is outstanding we will do plus so if we are minusing amount 400 outside it would be 1000 600 and when we are minusing it goes to the opposite direction in your balance sheet that is on your asset side write down prepaid insurance premium that is 400 next adjustment 
from debtor 800 is not recorded provide 5% bad debt reserve on debtor so in your balance sheet asset side write down first debtor get minus with bad debt first let's take amount of debtor it is 36800 36800 and in bad debt in your adjustment we find out bad debt is 800 remain 36000 then bad debt reserve which have to be calculated 5% remove 5% of 36000 that is 1800 outside 34200 now this two amount that is new right so let's take it in your profit and loss debit side and we'll write down 800 and 1800 for bad debt reserve next discount reserve on debtor is not required as we can see the discount reserve 760 given in your profit and oh, sorry in trial balance credit side just take it no more calculation is going to be done just write down discount reserve on debtor no more entry is going to be required so only one single entry and here we finish next provide depreciation on plant and machinery 20 percent and on furniture five percent first let's find out plant and machinery is forty thousand and furniture is ten thousand here i am ready with the calculation plant and machinery forty thousand and furniture ten thousand for plant and machinery twenty percent have to be calculated and for furniture 5% we got answer 8000 and 5% 5 of 10000 is 500 now let's take into the asset column first write down plant and machinery amount 40000 get minus with the depreciation 8000 outside it would be 32000 take this 8000 depreciation over here I'm going to write up depreciation on plant and machinery that is 8000 next furniture is 10,000 minus depreciation is 500 so outside it would be 9500 take this 500 amount of depreciation depreciation on furniture that is 500 don't forget to mark that this two is done now our last step to uh, clear out with the trial balance let's take the entry of capital account selim and sabana as we are preparing current account just take this two amount directly to your balance sheet capital of selim and Shaban that is one lakh sixty thousand and one lakh twenty thousand. If we add both of them, it would be two lakh eighty thousand. Next, we are done with the current account Salim and Sabana forty thousand for Salim. Now, let's take this forty thousand at the credit side of your current account date. 1 for 2016 by balance brought forward as an opening balance 40,000 in Salim and here as an opening balance of Sabana that is 10,000 next stock of goods 31st March 2017 that is 54,600 that is your closing stock so we'll come to your balance sheet asset side closing stock amount 54,600 next cash balance given on your debit side 560 will also come in your asset side cash balance 560 next current account with bank it also given in your debit side so it's your bank balance 14,000 keep it on your asset side bank 
balance that is 14,000. Next, fixed deposit of SBI that is your asset. Fixed deposit of SBI amount 80,000. Next, we already took debtors and creditors. Let's take the salary 37,000 in your profit and loss account. Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, we finish. Next, land and building, land and machinery also done. Furniture. Okay, sorry. Yeah, we finish with the land and machinery and furniture. Land and building is left one lakh twenty thousand. Land and building one lakh twenty thousand. Next is leasehold machinery. As we can see the bracket over here and over here. These two are the hidden adjustments. So let's start with the first leasehold machinery from 1 for 2016 for 5 years. It is given 60,000. Now here I made a calculation. Leasehold machinery. The date is given for 5 years and the year is ending on 31st March 2017. So it's a running year. So we can directly take it like 60,000 divided by 5 years. It would be 12,000. So lease will be removed as 12,000. Let's write down lease hold building amount 60,000. Get minus lease of 12,000. It would be 48,000. Take the lease same at the place of the depreciation and write down lease on your piano debit side on lease hold building that is. 12,000. So, you have been done with the leasehold building. Next is stationery and printing comes 1200 will also come in your profit and loss account. Stationery and printing that is 1200. Now, here bad debt and bad debt reserve. Now, here that is your old. As we can see, bad debt is on your debit side and bad debt reserve on your credit side. So take the bad debt 400 and bad debt reserve as a 2000. Take this calculation out. If we add this 3 amount, we get 3000. Yet minus with 2000, so outside it would be 1000. Next. Advertisement expense that is 1200 expense will be taken in your profit and loss debit side Advertisement expense that is 1200 Next traveling expense will also come in your profit and loss debit side That is 800 Next, trading account, 61,800, it comes on your credit side. So, make an opening on your credit side by writing balance brought forward with the 61,800. Next is loan of Shabana. In the whole question, by reading all the, from the beginning till the end, we didn't find any percentage has been given for the calculation, but still we are going to calculate Remember, you have to take 6% for the whatever partner's loan. Here, the date is also given. You can see the calculation over here. Interest has to be calculated. So, interest on loan of Sabana. The date is given in your question is 1-10-2016. From 1-10 till the 31st March 2017, the gap is 6 months. So, take the amount of the loan that is 60,000 and has to be removed for the 6 month. That is 6 divided by 12. And has to be calculated 6 percentage. Remember it is not given in your question but you have to go for it. It is given in your first chapter. Next, so here for the from the calculation we find out 1800 as an interest on loan. So just take it and write down over here. First we will write down loan of Shabana that is 60,000 and interest 
on loan of Shabana that is we find out it's now 1800 one entry will come that's your hidden adjustments one entry will come over here and one entry will come in your profit and loss account interest on loan of Shabana that is 1800 next discount reserve that is done so here we finish all the trial balance entry and all the adjustment here we are ready with the total of the debit side and the credit side i'm going to write down on the both the side as this one is more comparatively to 4000 so here we get the difference 57800 on your debit side and that's your gross profit which is going to be passed in the profit and loss account in the cross that is on your credit side fifty seven thousand eight hundred now let's make a total of both total here the debit side is more compared to the credit side so take the sixty five thousand one hundred at both the side and get minus with fifty eight thousand five sixty will get the difference of 6540 and that's your net loss now here we find net loss on your credit side of your profit and loss account will move to the cross in your profit and loss appropriate account on your debit side write down net loss that is 6540 as we can see the profit and loss appropriate account is totally empty so take the total at the both the side that is 6540 6540 obviously the divisible loss because we find the difference on your credit side will carry forward the same amount as no uh, any other amount to be get minus so this divisible loss is going to distribute between Selim and Shabana into their PNR ratio that is as in the question it is not given here we are going to assume it in the equal proportion so here they will get 3270 3270 now this divisible loss will move over here by writing 31st March 2017 divisible loss with the amount 3270 3270 now here as usual we'll make a calculation of first we'll do for the selling of the total this one is more so taking 40,000 at the both the side and we'll get the difference over here with the amount 32,730 that is your 31st March 2017 balance carried forward that is your closing balance and this current in the current account it comes on your debit side so this will move in your liability side that is here we'll write down current account for selling it is 32730 next we'll make a total of shabana as we can see on your credit side there is no entries given and only at your debit side the total will be 13,270 which is going to be same we are going to write on your credit side that is 13,270 and same is going to be as a closing balance which is going to come on your debit side 31st March 2017 by balance CF just take this amount now this time it comes on your credit side so we are going to take it in your asset side so just write down i'm writing at the down current account shabana that is 13,270 now last process make the total of both the side and find it out when she got teddy so just take the last look of trading account profit and loss account profit and loss appropriate account partners current account balance sheet with calculation.